Hello. Oh, short video. Project from my wife to sharpen her clippers. I don't know if you can see the teeth on or the blade on that, but it is very rough. Anyway, take my word for it. It's really rough. So, you want to not mess too much with the inside. All your sh sharpening should be from the outside. It's like any other scissors, you don't want to space in between there. So, first, rough, uh, smooth. Then the stone's rough, smooth, and smoother. So first, we gotta get these notches out of there. So, we'll start with that. Getting the notches out. Do your rough filing until you get your notches out. There's a lot of pretty big notches in there it's gonna take me a little while so I'll be back when I get that big notch out of there stay tuned okay that notch is pretty well down on this rough one a uh, smoother one Hello, son. Said hello. I'm doing a sharpening sharpening series for YouTube. stone can't quite get the stone in there that's good now this is really light the Roca de Austria it's almost it's hard to believe this is a stone feels like leather uh, these are just like pruning shears, so sharp is good, but they don't have to be. They aren't gonna shave anything. So. And now to knock off that burr. The burr is like a little piece of wire and you run your finger along the edge you can feel it and you just keep bending it back and forth until the metal breaks and it basically falls off there we go a little bit right there Turn it up yet oh. until my video is done. Yeah. Let 
There it is. And sharp is when you tap it into your fingernail and it sticks. That's pretty sharp. But file out the grooves from coarse to fine. Oops, coarse, fine, coarse, stone, fine stone, finest. That's a little bit of overkill, but that's it. There's a space in there. And that should do it. No burr. That's sharp. Okay. That's it. You can do that basically with knives. You can do it with pretty much anything. Axes. But there you go. Thanks for watching. Hit that like or even subscribe if you're so inclined. And take care.